Hi friends, my name is Mohit and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Support. Friends, today we will learn how we can create a template from Microsoft Hyper-V virtual machine and launch a virtual machine from that templates. So guys, let's start. So guys, here I have created uh, one uh, our uh, my virtual machine and uh, here I have installed the IES services for this thing. So here we can check there. Uh, this thing and I have also changed the desktop background so now this is my customized visual machine now I want to uh, create a template from this virtual machine and launch a virtual machine for this the for the same so guys first of all we need to minimize this thing here I have selected this virtual machine which is running now we need to click on the export button here is asking me where we want to export this virtual machine so click on the browse here I am putting the creating a folder in a C drive because I have only one partition but you can create a, or export this temp template or anywhere as per your requirement. So VM testing here I am putting the folder name. So here I am selecting the folder. Now I am clicking on the export button. So guys it will take some time is exporting is started. So it will take some time. So let me pause this video. Once the exporting process will completed, so will be completed. So I will come back to you. Welcome back, friends. Now we can see that our export process is completed. Now we need to create a new virtual machine from this template. So here we need to deselect this thing. Here we need to go to the import virtual machine. So here is asking me before you begin, you need to click on the next. We need to give the path of that folder where we have created the template. So here we have a VM testing Windows 10 Pro because it's the same file name. And double click on this, select on the select folder. Now click on the next. Here is asking us that you want to create a with this this file name you want to import import for this virtual machine so you need to select this thing and click on the next here is asking us the three options register the virtual machine in the place so you want to replace this same file or restore the virtual machine or copy the virtual machine with a unique create a unique new unique id so here we clicking on the copy option so you can choose as per your requirement now you need to click on the next so it's loading the configuration. So now it's asking us that uh, where you want to store the, uh, the files of this uh, virtual machine. So I want to keep the default location. If you want to ch change the location, you need to click on there and change your path. But I'm 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 not putting the I'm putting the only for default location. So now I'm clicking on the next. Here asking me the where do you want to store the imported virtual hard disk for this virtual machine? So here I'm putting the change, changing the hard disk name. So I'm putting the just triple one. You can choose your as per your requirement. Now I'm clicking on the next. So here is asking me that this is the summary of this thing. So now I'm clicking on the finish button. So you can check here with checkpoint folder, smart paging, file store, all options are there. You need can check and click on the finish one. So here it will take uh, some time. It's copying the virtual machine or it's creating one. So let me pause this video when it, this process will complete. I will come back to you. Welcome back friends. Here you can see the new virtual machine is created from the templates. Now we need to click, uh, select this virtual machine and right click on the connect button so the one pop-up window will open there now we need to click on the next here is asking is to restoring the virtual machine from that templates so guys here it will also take some time from restoring uh, the virtual machine from that templates so let me pause this video it will take some time welcome back friends now you can see that our virtual machine is ready from the templates. So here we need to click on the sign in button. And now you can see the virtual machine is loading. 
uh, is used from user one. So here you can see our new virtual machine, which is created from the templates. So now here you can see this is an old one, and this is a new one. Now we can also check the wallpaper, desktop wallpaper is already there, desktop background paper, and now we can also check the IA, IA service are there or not. So here you can see that IA service is there. You can see that. So guys, have you seen that how we have created uh, the template from the current virtual machine and launch a new virtual machine from that template? I hope you understand my video. If you like my video, then share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe the same. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.